Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm. Today I'd like to talk about Clarence Ross's bulking routine, which he actually used in the 1945 Mr. America competition. Now Clarence Ross actually won the 1945 Mr. America. Here's some great photos of uh, Clarence. He was a classical bodybuilder. In the first image you can see that he's actually rather bulky not showing much muscular definition on the thighs, abs or arms. But in the uh, second uh, picture you can actually see that his uh, abs are well defined, he's got very good muscular separation in the arms and in the thighs and calves. And throughout this small series of videos I'll be explaining the four different routines that he actually used. A bulking routine, a definition routine, one for um, specialization and one for developing his upper body. Now the source of these uh, routines were actually given in Your Physique magazine of September 1946. I have covered these briefly before but I want to go through them in mo uh, much more detail in these videos. So first of all he gives some tips. The tips that he gives are very sound and uh, probably repeated from other authors as well but it's all the same thing get plenty of sleep ex expose yourself to the Sun for a good tan and for vitamin D which helps with the testosterone production exercise should be performed for health is another tip from Clancy and, I, and I'm very very um, in agreement of that focus uh, when training was another very important tip from from Clancy that one should have their mind on training and nothing else when you're doing it and that your mind shouldn't drift off as he says you may be able to fool a lot of people but you can't fool yourself so focus when training and the obvious one is to not smoke or drink uh, because this will uh, hinder your progress in bodybuilding now most of these workouts, all of them actually, the four different types of workouts and routines that he used for the preparation of the Mr. America competition were full body workouts. Understand that in the period of the late 40s, which I'm kind of now calling, uh, you could say, the, uh, the Iron Age of bodybuilding, uh, not the, or the Iron Era, not necessarily the Golden Era. The Golden Era is really the from the mid 60s to I guess the late 70s um, but yeah this uh, and I guess you could call the 50s to the 60s the silver era and therefore the iron era would be would be uh, the late 40s and 50s um, they mainly used full body workouts and this particular workout that I, that, I, that I will explain was performed three times a week and it also included um, a sorry it, it was performed three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and within each session you would have three full body cycles um, plus uh, leg work right and so this kind of acts like uh, those circuits that you may have seen in the gym where you basically do the exercise uh, for the required amount of reps and sets and then move on to the next one Let's say you do arms first, or biceps first, then shoulders, etc. And then uh, you repeat the cycle all over again. So they're like circuits, right? They're full body circuits, more or, uh, so to speak. This particular full body workout was performed by Clarence Ross for the first month of competition. However, of course, if you wish to try it to bulk up, because that's what the first routine is about, bulking up, of course, it can be extended for several months. Um, Clan, uh, Clancy only used this for a month because he had four months before the Mr. America competition. Now this particular workout takes three to three and a half hours and on Saturdays he actually also did a squat session only. So he would work Monday, Wednesday, Friday and on top of that at a Saturday workout where he did only squats, four sets times ten, times ten reps. So now let's go through the first cycle that is the first full body cycle that he did for the first month before competition cycle one as I mentioned 
it was for the purpose of bulking up. The first exercise was the military press where he used, and I, I love how in Your Physique, September 1946, they actually give you the poundage and the reps that he used. It's a full explanation of his routine. So the first cycle of the three included the military press where 140 pounds was used for 10 reps, 180 pounds for five reps, 200 pounds for five reps, 220 pounds for one, a one rep max, and 230 pounds for a one rep max as well. After this, he would perform barbell curls with 130 pounds for 10 reps. Upright rows would follow, now we're looking at deltoids, 130 pounds, 10 reps. He would then do the prone press, it was called at the time, and that was essentially the bench press. He would use 240 pounds times 10 reps. He would then move on to do incline presses with 100 pounds and perform this for 10 reps, one arm rowing, 80 pounds each arm, 15 reps, and deadlift 300 pounds for 15 reps and finish off with dips 100 pounds times 15 reps. This was his first cycle. Pretty amazing. Cycle two. So as I said, it's a circuit. First he does the first one, now he does the second cycle. He would do upright rows again, this time increasing the weight to 140 pounds times 10 reps. And now he, so he focused initially on the military press in the first cycle. The focus of this second cycle is his arms, where he now performs 140 pounds of curls times 10 reps, 160 pounds times 5 reps, 170 pounds times 5 reps, and 180 pounds times 5 reps. That is amazing amount of volume performed in this cycle for the arms. And the weight, the poundage use is fantastic. 180 pounds for 5 reps is huge. He would again do the bench press, this time just one set, 260 uh, pounds for 10 reps. Incline presses, 120 pounds for 10 reps. One arm rowing, 100 pounds times 15 reps. Deadlift would go up to 370 pounds for 12 reps. And this time he would do a different kind of dip, and that is dips between boxes, which allows a greater stretch at the bottom using his body weight only for 20 reps. Finally, the third cycle, uh, he had focused initially on the military press and on the curl in the cycle one and two And this is more like a finishing cycle where he would curl now a maximum uh, of 150 pounds times 10 times 10 reps upright rows 150 pounds times 10 reps bench press 280 times 7 reps and 300 pounds times 5 reps So you can see now that the focus is on the chest doing bench presses and obviously triceps he would then perform incline presses with 100 pounds times 10 reps, one arm rowing 100 pounds times 12, deadlift 370 times 12 reps, and again go back to parallel bar dipping 100 pounds attached to his body for 10 reps. The last cycle would be mainly squatting and leg pressing, so mainly leg work. And for the last cycle, he would use 260 pounds on the squat, perform 10 reps, 300 pounds for 10 reps, and 320 pounds for 10 reps. After the squatting, he would move on to the leg press <coughs> and do 400, 500, and 600 pounds for 20 reps each. He would then finish off this enormous uh, uh, circuit using pullovers for uh, 55 pounds times 20 reps and uh, perform 100 reps for sit-ups. Now that was an enormous, an enormous pr uh, program that he would perform three times a week plus squats on weekends. He would work three to three and a half hours on each second day to um, prepare uh, for the Mr. America contest four months before he would do this for one month. This is, this is pretty incredible amount of training three to three and a half hours that's a lot of hard hard training squats bench press dips military press everything deadlifts unbelievable so Clancy was a real warrior incredible <clears throat> I hope you have enjoyed this video hope you've gained some knowledge um, if you have liked the video 
and decide to try the bulking routine, let me know how it goes. Are you going to end up looking like Clancy Ross? I don't know. You tell me. If you do, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your comments. Subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.